Good morning, Hope City. Welcome back to today's Daily Devo. I'm excited to jump back into the Word with you guys. So if you guys have your Bible, go ahead and open it up to Psalm 51 because we're going to be taking a look at it. And we're doing a little mini series right now in the Devos where we're taking a look at all of the Psalms that are emotionally charged. The biggest one where we get to learn from people at their highs, their lows, and we get to see how they acted through it. So go ahead and open your Bible, turn to Psalm 51. The context for this is the prophet Nathan comes to King David and he calls him out on David having an affair with Bathsheba. And David writes this after this, after he's repenting. And I don't want to take anything away from the text. I'm just going to read it through. But in this, we get to see King David's repentance and then the restoration that's able to come through that. So open with me to Psalm 51. This is going to be a lot of text. Follow along with me because I think hearing the word of God out loud is very important and it can it can bring things to light. So verse one says, be gracious to me, God, according to your faithful love, according to your abundant compassion, blot out my rebellion, completely wash away my guilt and cleanse me from my sin. For I'm conscious of my rebellion and my sin is always before me against you, you alone. I have sinned and done this evil in your sight. So you are right when you pass sentence. You are blameless when you judge. Indeed, I was guilty when I was born. I was sinful when my mother conceived me. Surely you desire integrity in the inner self, and you teach me wisdom deep within. Purify me with hyssop, and I will be clean. Wash me, and I will be whiter than snow. Let me hear joy and gladness. Let the bones you have crushed rejoice. Turn your face away from my sins and blot out all my guilt. God, create a clean heart for me and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not banish me from your presence or take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore the joy of your salvation to me and sustain me by giving me a willing spirit. Then I will teach the rebellious your ways and sinners will return to you. Save me from the guilt of bloodshed, God. God of my salvation and my tongue will sing of your righteousness. Lord, open my lips and my mouth will declare your praise. You do not want a sacrifice or I would give it. You are not pleased with the burnt offering. The sacrifice pleasing to God is a broken spirit. You will not despise a broken and humbled heart, God. In your good pleasure, cause Zion to prosper. Build the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will delight in righteousness, sacrifices, whole burnt offerings. Then bulls will be offered on your altar. This is a super rich text and there's a lot to dive into, but I just really want to focus in at the last part. And something before we kind of dive into these words is Nathan, after this whole situation, Nathan says that the Lord has taken away your sins, David. And he's only able to say that because of David's repentance, because David is seeking the Lord. And with that context, I want to look at verse 16 of Psalm 51. It says, you do not want a sacrifice or I would give it. You are not pleased with the burnt offering. The sacrifice pleasing to God is a broken spirit. You will not despise a broken and humbled heart, God. Now, this kind of led me to two things I've been reading in my quiet time. First of all, we're going to flip over to Joel chapter 2. This is a a great book to just deep dive into. Only three chapters long if you want to give it a read. But Joel 2 verse 12 said, Even now, this is the Lord's declaration. Turn to me with all your hearts, with fasting, weeping, and mourning. Tear your hearts, not just your clothes, and return to the Lord your God. And then also in Hosea, which is another great book, Hosea chapter 6, verse 6. It says, For I desire faithful love and not sacrifice the knowledge of God rather than the burnt offerings. And I think what we see in all of these verses is God isn't after what you can do for him. God doesn't care about anything that King David had to offer other than King David's heart. It doesn't matter what you've done. It doesn't matter your past. And it doesn't matter what you are able to do. It matters about your broken spirit, your willingness to say, yes, Lord, here I am. With that in mind, I just want to challenge us as Hope City Church. How can we be different today as we go out? How can you say, here I am, Lord? How can you break your spirit and break your heart towards God and have this repentance and restoration with your relationship with him? Thank you guys so much for checking out today's Daily Devo. Hope to see you tomorrow.